Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? Today we're gonna make this fun project. I call it broken china. It's not really broken china, but I'm gonna show you how we got this effect. And these could be cute if you punched a hole in them, made them into tags. I'm probably gonna put them on plates with little banners with names for name place settings. But let's just get started. So to start this, I am using a piece of chipboard. I'm gonna need air dry clay. I'm gonna use a sunflower on there so I have my sunflower mold a piece of burlap, and some cornstarch. So I'm using a piece of thin acrylic. I found this made it easier when I was working with this. Put a little bit of glue on this piece of chipboard, and you can make these as big or as small as you would like. And it just depends on how big you want it, how big your chipboard is gonna be. And after you've done one or two, you'll know how much clay you need. I'm just making a ball and squishing it out a little bit. And I'm just gonna lay it on here. And I'm actually gonna put just a little bit of cornstarch on here. Okay, so a lot of it's covered. I'm taking my piece of burlap and this is how we're getting our texture. I'm gonna lay it over the top and then I'm gonna press down just a little firmly. And if you put the cornstarch on your clay, it doesn't stick as much when you're pulling it off. And also, because it's on this acrylic sheet, it comes up just a little bit easier. Now, what I'm gonna do is cut off my excess from the back. And then what I'm gonna do is take my scissors and just kind of cut around this. I'm gonna set that aside for a second. I'm gonna use part of this mold. If I was doing lots of them, I might do the whole mold and then just cut it up, but I know I'm only gonna need one piece here. So put some cornstarch in my mold. So I'm just picking a side that I wanna put it, and I am gonna cut this excess off. And I'm just putting it at an angle, but you could put it anywhere. I just thought this was kind of fun because then it gives you some room if you wanted to add a banner or you wanted to add something else here. And then when it's completely covered here, it looks like it's broken off like a real piece of china. So I'm gonna have it hanging off, glue it down, and then cut the excess off. And you can see how it looks like it just broke right there. Now what I'm gonna do is just let this dry and then we'll start painting it. Okay, so this is the one we just did up and I'm gonna be letting it dry. You can even see there's a little piece of burlap in there. I don't care, I'm gonna leave it. This is one that's already dried so we can get right to painting it. And I really found that you really do want this dry because when we're gonna be maneuvering it, we really don't wanna take out all the texture we One have. One thing I found is it will wanna roll up. I wanted it to look like this, so when it dries, it's going to curl up, and that's just the way I wanted it. What you need to do is you either need to very carefully, you know, keep watching it, turning it upside down, or carefully lay something on the edge while it start to dry so it doesn't what roll. What I'm gonna do is paint the whole background first. So I'm just gonna be using some browns to paint the whole thing. And you can use any color paints. And I'm adding a little bit of water so the paint flows a little better. And if in case you are wondering, because I always get questions exactly the colors, I'm using Sandy Blonde and I'm also using Faded Burlap from DIY. But any brown paints you would like to use would work on this. And I'm gonna get the edges real quick and even the back. Let this dry real quick and then we'll paint our sunflower. After that's dry, now I'm just gonna paint my sunflower. Okay, we'll let this dry. So now that it's dry, I'm just using a baby wipe. I'm not sealing it or doing anything else first. I found this really worked well. Kind of what I wanted was the white underneath coming through. And I'm lightly rubbing that. That's why you really want to make sure this is dry. Because if it was if the clay was still wet, you'd be pressing in and distorting your texture. This clay isn't super, super thick on this, so you want to be really careful. If you press too hard, you can snap it. So when you're moving to the next spot to take the paint off, make sure you move your baby wipe around, because if you take this and touch the tan, that gold will transfer to the tan. 
and you're just going to take as much or as little off as you would like. So what I'm going to do next is we are going to put a distressing over the top of this. So I want mine distressed, so I am just using Vintage Photo Distress Oxide. But there are so many different ways you can distress your pieces. I really like this because it's water activated. I'm going to spray this with a little water. And I can just move this around. Okay, so let this dry for a second and then we're going to seal it. Okay, so this is dry. You can see it looks very, very faded. The one thing nice about the DIY paint is that when you seal it, the colors get very, very vibrant. This is probably one of the few projects I really like using a gloss sealer. It really makes it look like dishes. So I'm just using a clear gloss sealer. And can you already see how much more vibrant that is? There we go. Okay guys, I hope you thought this was easy. It really, really, really is easy. So the one thing I would say with these, if, if you want them as tags, you probably want to make the hole before the clay dries. You can drill through it afterward, but you really don't want to risk cracking it after all of that. But these were really fun to do. You could do different shapes, different sizes, add different molds for different occasions. I cut that out of chipboard and put the clay over the top so you could do die cuts with tags, with anything, and do the same idea, add pieces on the top, make your own ornaments, tags, whatever you would like. But whatever you do, hope you try this out and have fun.